mentally the first day Mondays you're always trying to get the mental aspect of the game and who you're playing against and switch gears from what you had to do last week on defense to this week and I think we did a good job. It's been a while since this team played at Utah. You think your guys have a sense for the crowd I and mean, this place has a, a pretty good reputation yeah. but maybe a little under the radar reputation too for how tough it is to play? Yeah it's a great it's a great atmosphere. It's an, uh, you know very similar to, to Austin Stadium in terms of the, the fans are very smart, uh, very passionate, great student section um, and and you know and they're they're really good and so that that combination you know they're going to show up and, and be crazy and, and be loud uh, and that's where we just have to be dialed in uh, on our end of it they've 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 forced a ton of I think they, they lead the, the country in forcing you know illegal procedure and that kind of stuff they average over five a game for the visiting team and so that's something that, that we certainly have to take care of you know the atmosphere is gonna be unbelievable um, you know we're gonna have to be prepared for that and um, up front and defensively, they're very good. I mean, they have a couple of the best pass rushers in the country. So we have to be ready for that. Um, you know, we have to make sure that we're ready for any types of man because, you know, they do play a lot of man free. Um, so in, in terms of that, they're a very aggressive defense. They like to bring pressure and just make sure that we're all executing on the same pitch. Well, they lead the nation in sacks, Utah, and they were pretty good last year, too, if I remember oh, right. Yeah. What, what is it about this defensive front that's pretty good that you see from that, Well, they're very big and they're best. very physical and they're very athletic yeah. and they play really, really hard. I mean, they play really, really hard. And, you know, teams like that, they're, they're going to get you at some point in time, you know, whether it be a tackle for a loss or for a sack. You just you, know, you hope that you can minimize those because they're really good players and they play really hard and they're big physical athletic guys. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to, you know, win those one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, you know, the five linemen, the tight end, include those six guys. If there was one breakdown in that group that, you know, get a chance for a tackle for a loss or a sack or, sure. you know, whatever the situation is. So, you know, we got to play all the way around because these guys are really good. What's the challenge of going against kind of this two quarterback look they give you? Obviously, one is more of a runner, one's more of a passer, but how do you prepare for two guys who could be used in starkly different ways? Uh, first off, I mean, we got. I think we got that uh, when we go against Marcus every day in practice. Uh, we get a glimpse of that for the amount that we go against them. But you know they got two quarterbacks that can run the ball and also throw it. So it's like a dual threat. You just got to read your keys and stay disciplined. Without a guy like Drez Anderson, what do you make of their of their passing offense? They, he was obviously the star yeah, of that whole thing. Uh, they got. Uh, he was the main guy, but they got other guys that I'm sure is going to be ready to jump to the opportunity. So you can't look at it just uh, take it easy because they star receiver out. But you got to focus on the other receivers. Just looking to step up. And then lastly, just Devontae Booker, their running back, he's kind of a fresh on the scene guy, yeah. 120 yards, but is there a style you can compare him to in the league, around the league, or do you even practice against every day? Is he, does he have a comparable style? Uh, yeah, to no. know. He's, he's more of a slasher dasher to make you miss, or but he's a hard running, and you got to give credit when credit's due, and he deserves a lot of credit. Uh, he's a good running back, you know? He's playing well in that system, and running the ball pretty hard.